Won't you join me on an adventure through Brooklyn? Fixing some stuff. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I gotta go to work. Boop. Boop. Coffee, bagel, avocado, cream cheese. All right. Rule number one, be sure to tell your dog you'll be back soon. So don't worry about you while you're gone. Give them plenty of face scratches. They deserve it. One hour train ride to the first job. Lovely. Quick switch to the F at West 4th Street. Looking around. Found a microphone. Not quite sure why. Crossing the bridge into Brooklyn. Found a cool old clock in the station. And a 15 minute walk in the rain. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Look at these pants. I think they're art. I guess anything could be art. This cool old door handle. Doors could use a little TLC. One of my clients hired movers. The movers decided to just rip the legs off. No! So I had to go through and add a bunch of screws and L brackets to get it to work right again. Because the movers broke everything. Let's go this way. We're gonna take that picture. We're gonna hang it right up on that wall. Easy. I use my tape measure and I pick up the painting and it tells me how far down I need to put the nail. So slightly less than five and a half inches. Measured center, measured five and a half inches down. Simple as that. Math was my favorite subject. Grab my little miniature level. Almost perfect. Ta-da. Now we're gonna hang this mirror that's about as heavy as a small child. So I put a little pilot bit in to see what type of walls there and it's drywall over plaster. So I have to grab my little tile bit, wallow the hole out to fit my plug, hammer my plug in, put the screw in, expands the plug in the wall, and safely hang this heavy, Heavy mirror. Level it again. Level again. Now we gotta put a towel rod on this door in the bathroom. Got a fine center. Figure out how to gap from left to right and from right to left. Measure three, four times. Do some finger counting. Triple check so I'm not adding a bunch of screws to this door. Pop on the first bracket. Check that measurement, check that measurement. Put on the second bracket. Grab the bar, grab your Allen screw, tighten her on down. Try not to burn your elbow on the heat pipe. Take these two pictures, hang them on that wall. We're gonna take this mirror, we're gonna hang it up there. This thing was heavy. But it wasn't that hard. Forgot my level, got my level. Check the levelness. Ta da! Look at this house. Is that fair faucet? Normally I'd walk 15, 20, 30, 45 minutes, but this was pretty gross. So I took the bus. Look at this building front. I wish they all looked this cool. A lot of character. Let's hang this mirror right there. So I use my drill bit box to catch drywall dust so I don't have to vacuum up. Then we had a quick conversation about the types of walls in her apartment, ranging from brick, concrete, and plaster. 
Time to unpack the mirror. This is using a French cleat. So I had to measure from the floor up. They wanted nine inches from the bottom of the mirror. And then I had to add that to the distance between the bottom of the mirror and the French cleat screws. Pop the mounts in, screw the other side of the French cleat on. And one last screw in. You see how it works? It slides in there and that's what holds all your weight. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room left to right. Look at the hat. All right, goes on easy. I use my fingers to gap it right between the two pieces of trim and that's it. So I fixed one of these last time I was here because the plastic slowly starts to break. So you see I added that L bracket at the top. So grab a self tapping screw and a couple of wood screws. I use the self tapping screw to go through the metal to then add a screw after I've removed the self tapper. So here we're tapping it, and then we're putting the wood screw in place of the self tapper. So that holds that in place and the drawer should slide back in right. I added the second screw because it was only screwed on the front with two. So it was a little bit loose. Zipped one in just enough to kind of tighten the front down. Ta-da. Whoever installed this didn't put any screws in. Added a screw there. I'm going to mimic that bracket I put in last time underneath to help hold a little bit of weight. Keep it from sagging again. Keeping that plastic from breaking again because everything's made of plastic. A little slap, slap, make it sure, and it works great. Add one on the left. Slap, slap, slap. Look at that. Wow. Time to clean up. On to the next. Hmm, pumpkins in February. Bus ride number two. <whistles> Everyone meet Woodstock. Very inquisitive. Liked my wooden pencil. Gonna hang that painting on that wall. Measured for center. Did my tape measure trick on the back to figure out how low to mount the screw in the wall. Zipped it in, zipped it on, hung it up, leveled it out, moved on to the frame TV. When this thing's not playing your favorite TV show, it looks like a painting. This didn't make any sense for a minute. Couldn't quite figure out what the heck they were talking about. If only I would read directions. This? No. Still wrong. Still wrong. Being judged. Woodstock doesn't approve. Did you notice a cat in the background? I don't really know the point of these. Just stick them on there. I don't know. Just following the directions. Gotta put these little feet at the bottom so the bottom of the TV doesn't scratch up the wall. Checking on me again. Pop one here, pop one there. Check the cat, cat checks me. Boop, 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 doop, doop, do. Smell my dogs, pet your nose, scratch your chin. All right, figure it out. So you go by the width of the TV, which is 55 inches. And you tape it together. And then these are self-leveling. So you just put them on. And you hang the TV. It hangs on those little silver hooks. Then you figure out where you want your TV to live. They gave me the height. And where they want it to live left to right. And what do you know? Both studs were not where I needed them. I managed to get the far right two screws into studs. All the others I used a combination of zip toggles, drywall anchors, butterfly things, hope and prayer. And I mounted both brackets. So when you pick the TV up, which I couldn't record because my battery died, it hangs on those bottom left and bottom right hooks. And then, thanks to those brackets on the back side of the TV, you just kind of finesse it left and right and it'll eventually find level. 
All right, time to get lunch at 4 p.m. Welcome to the classic deli market. Got a turkey, cheese, salt, pepper on a wrap, heated up. And I stood under an awning in the rain and tried to figure out how to get to the other side of Brooklyn. Thanks to the rain, it was a $47 lift. I normally would have walked it, about a 40 minute walk, but this weather was terrible. So I splurged, got the lift. All right, let's recall the bathtub. First off, we're gonna remove the old silicone from the window side. Remove all the old caulking from where the tile meets the tub. While being careful not to scratch or chip any of the tiles. I went about halfway up to where the caulking was compromised. Pro tip. Use your gun to cut the tip of the caulk open, and then at the end of the caulk gun is a little metal rod that you use to poke through the seal inside of the tube. Take yourself a scouring pad, make sure everything's nice, dry, and clean, and run yourself a nice pea-sized bead of caulk, dampen your finger, apply light pressure, and pull from corner to corner. Start in that same corner and pull away. Blend it into the good caulking that's above. Run the next bead. Dampen your finger. Run it along again. Make sure your corners are nice and clean. Ta-da! Yay! I'm gonna switch to a clear silicone for this side. Which dries clear, applies white. Ta-da! Now we're gonna install a trash can in a cabinet. This thing was kind of a pain in the butt to make fit and work in there. So I filmed the second one after I spent time learning how to do the first. Gonna remove all the old mounting hardware because the door is affixed to the drawer. Get everything nice and centered. Screw that in place. Answer a few text messages. These are the brackets that hold the door in place. Make measurements. May as well guess. This is the most pain in the butt part of this process. Just little micro adjustments until the front of it looked normal when it was shut. Nothing rubbed. The main issue being these doors were rather heavy. That's it for work today. Look at this beautiful station wall. Yummy. At this point, it's about 7.30. Decided to meet my comedy friend, Steve. Young Ethels. Everybody say, hi, Steve. We had a few drinks and watched the snow fall for a couple of hours. About 1 a.m. we realized we should probably go home. Got to the station and no one was there. A little post-apocalyptic. And 1 a.m. Started second guessing myself because the F train didn't stop going the other way. Starting to think maybe it wasn't going to stop this way either.
they were all closed. I don't know why I'm whispering. The train came. I may have almost fallen asleep on this 75 minute train ride home. Got home at about 2.45. My buddy was very excited to see me. Very, very sleepy puppy. Thanks for going along on a full day in New York City. Say good night, Zella. Good night. See you next time.